In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this simple layer blending effect that can have lots of different possibilities and is very easy to do. So to begin, I'll just drag whatever clip I'm working with. So whatever clip you're working with on the timeline. And all we want to do at first is duplicate the clip on top of itself. So whether you want to just drag the same clip out twice or a nice shortcut is to just hold option and click and drag any layer and it'll just create a, a duplication. So we have one clip on layer one and a copy of that clip on layer two. And in order to do this effect, just open up the effect controls panel and on the top layer, whatever track you're on, let's increase the scale from 100 to something like, you know, 103, 4, 105, something like that. And in order to see this effect take place, we now want to take the opacity of this clip and lower it down a little bit. So the opacity kind of will act like the strength. So if we put it at like 50%, then we've got half of the top clip showing through, half of the bottom clip. So here's what it looks like at 70%. And you can see it immediately creates this double vision effect where you can kind of see a little bit of the bottom and top and there's a slight separation in the scale. And some of the ways that you can start to play around with this to create dozens of different results are firstly in the blending mode. So this is just what it looks like on normal. But let's say we put it on something cool like screen or color dodge. Now we have this brightening effect that also comes along with the double vision sort of effect. And let's say we also add an effect on top of this layer. So let's say we go to the blur section and add a Gaussian blur just to kind of create a little bit of separation between the sharpness of the layers. Let's increase the blurriness of this top layer a bit. So let's just add like 10 to 20 blurriness. So now we only have the crisp lines of the bottom showing and we really get this cool dreamy look that happens with a slight separation of scale. You can see what it would look like at different amounts. So, you know, you don't want to go too far. I mean, that's a possibility, but the part that makes it look cool is keeping the edges pretty close to each other. And we can also see what happens if we put it on, put different effects on this. So what if I put an invert effect on this, for example, uh, this would completely change the colors. Or what if I put a different blending mode on this, such as difference or exclusion or something like that, we, we get different possibilities for effects. And a couple other ideas that I found playing around with this are even if you offset the time. So right now the two clips are directly on top of each other. But what if I was to shift one over like one frame or one second? Now we have the same clip, but it's just slightly offset. So let's go like right here. And now not only do we have a stutter in the edges, we also have a stutter in the time, creating this really cool echo effect. Uh, additionally, just to get a little bit advanced here, you can think about playing with the speed of a clip. So this is just offsetting it forward a little bit. But what if instead of doing that, we just use the rate stretch tool or something to make one clip a little slower or a little faster and see what happens there. That's a, a different sort of effect you can make. Or you could also see what happens if you add keyframes onto this. So let's say we go back to our original effect. You know, if you ever click on this stopwatch icon, so let's say we toggle the opacity and the scale. And as we go through, we kind of make it get a little bit bigger or maybe get a little bit weaker in strength, maybe oscillate between, you know, 104 and 110, and then maybe oscillate between different strength percentages. And then you have uh, even more flexibility in your effect. So between all of these different parameters, you can adjust the basic idea. You can simply do it in one step, just duplicate the layer, put it on a blending mode, maybe mess with the scale or a position or opacity. But the possibilities with it are quite endless when you add in different blending modes, keyframes, 
and effects on top. So my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, I have hundreds more in the playlist on my channel for free. And you can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Also, if you're interested in video effects for Adobe Premiere Pro, I currently have several preset packs and offerings on my website shop, which you can just download and install and begin using at justinodishow.com shop. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.